good secret here. There's a word secret now that I just want to discuss briefly. Great things always begin in secret. Great things always begin in secret. Um, it's what they call the workshop where uh, all the job makers want to uh, produce the furniture they want to present. Or even uh, manufacturers of cars where they work. To get there, what you see is not what to see in the showroom. When the thing gets to the showroom and you begin to admire all the beauties, you should see what had happened in secret. It is when the work is well done in the secret that you have something beautiful to show later on. Take for example, Psalm 139 verse 14, Psalm 139 verse 14, baby said, I am wonderfully and fearfully made. Where was the making done? It is in the secrecy of the womb of the mother. When the baby is born and uh, we see the baby, uh, oh, what a beauty. But the whole process started in the womb, in the secrecy of the womb. In John chapter 12, verse 24, John 12, verse 24, the Bible says, except the corn of wheat falls into the ground, and that it will abide alone. In other words, the beautiful fruits you eat, the beautiful vegetables, etc., etc., et et this the real preparation is inside the ground unseen. In Matthew chapter 13, from verse 3 to 9, Matthew 13, from verse 3. To nine. The Bible tells us, or the Lord told us, the story of the sower that went to sow. The seed that did not go into the ground, the seed that was by the wayside, never produced any fruit because birds came and picked them up. Even the one that fell on stony ground, in other words, the one that didn't go deep down into the secrecy of the ground, they may germinate, but they will not produce fruit. So you find that in Second Kings chapter four, from verse one to seven, Second Kings four, from verse one to seven, when God wanted to perform a major miracle for that widow of one of the sons of the prophet. He told her, shut the door on you and your children. Miracles happen in secret. So if somebody, for example, seems to be succeeding suddenly, who has not spent time in secrecy with God. If God loves the fellow, he will send him to isolation, to go and spend time in secret with him. Check, for example, First Kings chapter 17, from verse 1 to the end, 2 Kings 17, from verse 1 to the end. Suddenly, out of practically nowhere, Elijah burst on the scene 
arrived in the palace, Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there will be no rain or dew all these days except at my word. Where was he coming from? He said, I, I stand before God. And now all of a sudden, he has a palace ministry. But God said, hey, I have greater things for you to do. Let's go and hide you a little more. Go back to Cherith and go and hide there. When he left Cherith, God said, go and save the widow of Cherith. It was while he was waiting in secret that God developed him to somebody who can be a prophet who will raise the dead. He became the first of all the prophets who ever brought the dead back to life. He spent time in secret. When he was at Cherry, the only visitors he ever got were ravens. Yes. If we take another example, Moses, for instance, in Exodus chapter 2 from verse 11 to 25, Exodus 2, 11 to 25, Moses knew he was destined to be a deliverer. But he hasn't been prepared yet. He thought that all the education he had in the house of uh, Pharaoh his message or is enough for the work God wanted him to do. So he went, tried to be a deliverer by force, and God sent him to exile for 40 years. He was in the backside of the desert for 40 years before God now said, all right now, we are ready. Oh, consider 1 Samuel chapter 22, from verse 1 to 2. 1 Samuel 22 from verse 1 to 2. The Bible said David went to the, the cave of Adullam and all manners of people, hopeless people, gathered themselves together to him. I wish I had time to speak about the wonders of dwelling in the cave. Mm -hmm. Never can tell it should be one of these days God will bring it about. While he was there in the cave with these hopeless people, these hopeless people were turned to mighty men. Second Samuel chapter 23. Second Samuel 23. The same people who were with him in the cave of Adula became David's mighty men. What is the conclusion? I think somebody mentioned it. When you really want to pray, destiny changing prayers, you must do it in secret. Matthew 6, from verse 5 to 6. Matthew 6, 5 to 6. Want to pray? This serious miracle performing prayers, you do it in secret. You probably must have noticed that when I pray in the open, the Holy Ghost service, etc., 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 and see all, all manners of things happening, the, the prayers I pray there can't be long because I have to teach. But at least three days before the Holy Ghost service, I'm alone. Shut up in the prayer room. Even my wife can't come to visit. Because when you want great things to happen, you must go into the secret place. It is when God now packaged everything, manufactured everything, polished everything, yeah, then they will bring it out to the showroom. So those of us who have never had time to pray in secret, we need to learn the lesson. Because I know there are quite a few of us 
not to talk about those who don't even care what's going on, they don't appreciate it. But those of us who are sufficiently matured now, there should be at least a time in your life when you will go and pray alone. That's one of the major reasons why I go out at night to pray. Um, before the camp became the camp, when this was the jungle, I would leave the camp, go into the wood, so that nobody would see me to be entirely myself and God. Well, we still do that once in a while, but here at the camp now has become a city when you are going and you want to be alone. Uh, people will see you and it will come and disturb. But, at least in your own case, if you want to walk on the camp to pray, nobody is going to disturb you. They look at you, they don't even know who you are. So they be minding their own business, they be minding your own. Learn to pray in secret. And the result will be amazing. May the Almighty God answer your prayers today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.